Hey everybody, this is Enrico and I am back again on whatever screen you decide to watch this on. I hope you guys are doing well, even fantastic. Why? Because you're watching this video. So this story comes from China and this whole idea that we all know about of parents pushing their children to strive to be very successful and a term comes with this action it's called being a tiger mother or a tiger parent where you jump and lash out at your child to study you want them to always be in the books to just constantly constantly focus on being good at academics and if the child rebels, the parent lashes out even more and tries to pound fear into their children. Not literally pound, but actually like mentally force it into the child. And so now on Chinese social media, which is via Weibo, they are finding that there is this new guilt trip that some parents are doing and it was brought to light because a mother filmed her husband talking to their child he's sitting there like a gangster cigarette hanging out his mouth no shirt on i guess he felt like this was the intimidation that he needed to get his daughter to understand and he is going through all of these problems that he has as his child sits there in front of the book. And he's like, you know what? You need to study because I go out work at the factory every day. I drive there. You know, we don't have any money. I don't even use the air conditioner. I just work constantly. The only thing you got to do is study. And the child is sitting there just like, what am I supposed to do with this information? I am a child. And the finding that is going along all across the board where there are parents that are saying, you know, it's your fault that we're living like this. It's your fault that we don't have any money. It is your fault that your cat died. It is your fault. Everything is your fault. It's your fault because you should be studying every waking hour of the day. And so now there are people that were like, this is very problematic. Even on Chinese social media, I'm happy that actually Weibo is showing many people who are actually using common sense now. And that there are people saying that you're going to make your child hate life. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make your child hate you. <laughs> and especially when you get old and you need them, they're gonna say, remember when you were saying everything's my fault? Just because I wasn't good at academics. And so this has been a huge thing with Chinese social media. With parents constantly nagging their children to the point that we actually have video footage of children letting their parents have it. Their children that have to come out of a child's place and become an adult. To tell their parent, I should have more playtime. Only thing I do is study. I haven't done anything to you. I obey every command you have. <laughs> Let me play some more. When you look and you see a child lecturing a grown adult, that tells you that something is terribly wrong. <laughs>
，那能继续坚持下去才是真正的好。我也不是说非得让你如何如何，但是我知道你很。他如何如何呢？你要要求我，你要是要真这样，你机器人都忙不过来，我长八只手都都忙不过来的呢。我告诉你，最后告你一句话，请珍惜我们孩子的儿童时光。嗯，好，我珍惜。This is a child. We have a little boy who who also, I mean, he stood up in the chair telling his mother off, like he was telling her off. He was telling her all about herself. Like he let her know. He was using analogies. He was going in on his mother, <laughs> and I was like, I was clapping. I was like, "Go ahead, tell her, T tell her, let her know." Like I am a child, I have feelings too. 这样对待我，那我以后我也等我长大，我比你高了。那我干干嘛呀？等我以后成了航天员，我就狠狠教训你一顿。你要怎么教训我？让你受受我，在我在我小时候，你对我的要求有多严格？那以后你自己管你自己啊，<笑>可以吗？难道你在上班的时候，你跟同你同事，你同事跟你说说说说说，难道你也会跟你同事凶吗？你也会对你的老板凶吗？你也会跟你的公司的最高等级的人说吗？你也会去跟他吵吗？你的心就是我的心，你一旦发火，你对我发火了，我心里是怎样的？你要想清楚。But for a child to grow up so fast and have such a mature way of thinking is sad, and this is one of the things that comes with pushing your child so much and. Putting all of the burdens on your child, especially at a young age, they're forced to grow up so fast, and they don't get to really be children. They miss out on a lot. They miss out on the joys of their youth, and that's one of the things that one of the kids was saying. You know, like, let me enjoy my youth. <laughs> let me be a child. I think it's important that you stress as a parent. How important it is to study, and that you should strive to get good grades. But let's be honest: there are just some kids that are just not going to be geniuses. There are some kids that might be average or might get a grade that's maybe a high C or a low B. And it's okay. It's like if you tried, you really tried, and that's all you could do. That's it is what it is. That's just how the cookie crumbles. At the end of the day, I come from a family where I couldn't bring home anything less than like a low A. <laughs> so I know what it's like. However, my parents still let me be a kid. So it was very much in my situation where do your homework. If you do your homework and you do what you're supposed to do, you can go out and play. You can watch TV. You can call your friends. You do whatever you want to do. But when it's time for you to do your work, we expect you to do your work. And I think it should be an, a balance of okay, when it's time for you to do your homework and study, study. But also let your child know that at the end of that, there's also enjoyment. You also can still be a child. I don't approve of the whole Chinese culture of kids going to school most of the day. This is why Asians are smarter than you. These Chinese students begin their day at 6:30 and immediately start studying. After a three-hour morning review session, the whole school is forced to work out to stimulate their brains. Then students go back to studying. Which includes classes, practice tests, and self reviews until they finally get a 30 minute lunch break. Luckily, lunch is a healthy meal provided by the school. Afterwards, everyone must take a mandatory afternoon nap. Then it's back to studying for four more hours. You tired yet? Thankfully, students get a slightly longer dinner break, of one hour. But soon it's time for night class. They study for two more hours until they can finally sleep. 
these students live at the school from Monday to Saturday and only get a day to see their parents. That, that's like a camp to me where they're in school, they're studying, and you know, there's a pride in the East Asian community where it's like, oh, you know, we're so smart. And like, look how smart we are. And this is why. And I'm just like, the average person doesn't care. <laughs> to be honest with you, the average person does not care how smart you all are. It's just like, okay, that's great. But are you happy? Most kids care about happiness. Most people care about, at the end of all this, am I happy? There are millionaires that are rich beyond our wildest dreams who are not happy. They bought everything they want to buy. They've done every drug. They've slept with every person imaginable and they're still not happy because they're not fulfilled. I think it's important that yes, we are successful, but that we're also happy. And to see Chinese parents push their kids and try to like guilt trip their kids, it's something that's a foolproof plan. It's not going to always work. On one hand, you will have kids that will strive and really work super hard and will be successful and might own their own company one day or might become a millionaire. That's great. I think it's amazing. But the million dollar question is, are you happy? Because then on the flip side, we have these kids who are getting all of their parents' problems and they're going to end up having trauma from that. It's going to affect their relationships. They might become toxic. They're going to have resentment toward their parents because they're going to be like, my parents didn't allow me to enjoy being a child. I always had to study. It could also cause them to rebel. So they might not want to actually go to college or even to excel. They might go and just throw the whole thing away. You never know. It's it's the reverse effect. I think also parents should talk to their children and be like, what do you want to do that makes you happy? And it might not always be the answer <laughs> that you want to hear, but it's important that children also do what they feel like will fulfill them and will make them happy because it's their life at the end of the day. And all parents want their children to be successful. But success does not equal happiness. Parents need to just stop projecting their problems onto their children. Parents need to listen to their children a little bit more. Parents need to sit down and have a conversation. And hear their children and the children hear the parents. And it's nothing wrong with explaining to your child, like, you know, I want what's best for you because we didn't have that. There's nothing wrong with that. But let's be honest, the three, four, five, six-year-old is not going to understand that concept. And they're too young to be processing that in their brain. Let a child be a child. Leave all that other stuff. Your child is not your therapist. <laughs> Leave all that other stuff that you got going on with your wife or your husband or whoever like that. Stop yelling at your kids so much. Push your kids, but don't make your kids an emotional doormat. Do not make your kids an emotional garbage bin. That's your child. They're a human being just like you, and they should be treated as such. So you guys, this is a lot to think about. How do you feel about this whole topic? I want to read all your opinions below. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, the blog and station pop culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real. And I will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video.